I'm here at Mobile World Congress with uh, Summer Chen, who is Vice President of CTE. Summer, thank you very much for joining us today. So you have just concluded a presentation in which you talk about 5G, industrial 5G and smart manufacturing. Mm -hmm. How important are those technologies and applications for CTE and why? So that's a very interesting, uh, um, especially for me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a, used to be a chief engineer for wireless solutions, so I witnessed the uh, technical from 2G to 5G. So at now, 5G is a quite, quite a topic, but these days we are more focused on the 5G applications, especially in vertical enterprise for the applications. So um, this time in this unit uh, remote control stadium, uh, we are focused on discussing what kind of 5G can bring to the verticals. So um, actually ZT is uh, quite not just provide the 5G equipment for the network side for the operators. We now we set up a kind of uh, 5G platform is uh, easily to be a uh, rapid replication for the verticals and uh, even different verticals like uh, energy, transportation, and for mining or metallurgy and agriculture, all kinds of verticals. So it can be uh, bringing a lot of value for our vertical customers. And uh, the most important thing, especially for the manufacturing, because ZT, we have our own manufacturing center. Yeah. Yeah. So um, our target is make this vertical evolution for the enterprise is more easy and low cost effective for our customer to easy to deploy this kind of 5G application. So what we can do for me, even for me now, I'm transferred to yeah. uh, branding and uh, PR relationship now. So my duty is tell the story tell the successful use cases brought by ZT and our global customers and to share this, this kind of information or this kind of experience for all the publics. So that will be a contribution for the other verticals to know what happened, uh, what we ZT have done uh, and what we can offer for the older global system. Ecosystems. That's great. And Summer, what, what are the main challenges that companies uh, mm -hmm. are having when they uh, aim to embrace a, a digital transformation and what CETI CETA is doing to, to help them in that process? Yeah, for, for enterprise, when they're thinking they want to make a digitalization, mm -hmm. the most important thing is when, how and uh, how much. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, normally we're thinking uh, you should be, uh, take, take care about the scenario, choose the scenarios, which one is the root driven to uh, making this happen to bring most uh, sustainable value for the uh, start point. So we are, we, we are more focused, as I mentioned in that panel, mm -hmm. the first thing is carry out the comprehensive in-depth scenario research. So you need to find the start point and uh, normally in the operation, mm -hmm. um, in operation processing areas, so it can benefit from the present in the future. And the second challenge is about for the enterprise. Mm -hmm. they, they're more familiar with their uh, application scenario, but they do not familiar with their communication. So we need to set up a joint, joint team mm -hmm. that covered the ICT technicals and the field applications. So um, the professional dedicated team is quite important. Sometimes the enterprise, they set their own team. The other way is to set up a joint team from the outside resource to considering uh, a joint team to um, integrate all kinds of uh, professional experts into their groups. So that's the second. The third one, I think, is um, 
money. money yeah. yeah, it means um, a lot of uh, investment. But we, when we're thinking about investment, it, we, we can um, think thinking this uh, big volume investment into long term. In short term, maybe um, the invest is bigger than the the income, the value you you are bring. But in the in the middle time, it will be bring a great success to help the um, the enterprise got much more business new chance and uh, give the, a good position when they're making their competition in the future. The most important thing is after this um, digitalization, you need uh, you got the benefit mm -hmm. to to facing the challenges is move fast and to change fast and to got the cost reduction, to got the uh, quality improvement and the uh, efficiency mm -hmm. is uh, enhancement. I think this is quite important. Right. And last question, uh, summaries about the 5G <laughs> manufacturing base you have in Nanjing. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little, a little bit more about that? Okay, the Nanjing, we, we set up a, a totally 5G intelligent manufacturing. We call it, uh, with 5G tech, mm -hmm. manufacturing 5G equipment. So this, uh, it, this is uh, uh, established with our 5G private network. We set up a minimal 5G IC, I, 5, 5G GC, and uh, uh, 5G native cloud radio, um, for the AGV, mm -hmm. PLC, and uh, machine vision. And so all these kind of innovations can realize, we, that's why we, ch we, we can achieve a um, production, mm -hmm. production line with the lights off, yeah. lights off. So um, with all these innovations, so we thinking this uh, Binjiang 5G manufacturing center as a, as a um, laboratory yeah. to install all kinds of 5G application scenarios. So it can really bring our manufacturing to a flexible manufacturing. Because this is uh, quite uh, important for, for today's competition. You're facing different requirements, uh, facing global customers' the demands. So it's the fragments and the diverse demand requirements. So it give us ability to quite response for our requirements. So as I mentioned in the panel, we have uh, achieved the uh, average output per person to 113 percent mm -hmm. and our delivery cycle time is shortened by 24 percent. The energy saving is our uh, achieved uh, almost 40% reduction. So this is a quite a good example for the whole ecosystem to making the power, e e e power saving and emission reduction. And it's uh, uh, for, for the, the global customer to visiting our 5G factory, they saw these changes and they making the digital transformation, more confidence yeah. to show. So that's, that's what happened in ZTE. That's what happened in the industry for, for the last two or three years. Great, thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you. you.